Within this video, we will explain you the functionalities that you have on the incoming configuration page. So at the incoming configuration page, the first thing you will see is of course the naming, whether a incoming configuration status is enabled, if there is a certain description mentioned for that, and the updated at, and then we have certain actions of, for example, running it from here, exporting it, duplicating it here, or deleting it. We also have the possibilities on the top left to do certain filterings of saying like, okay, I want to see everything that has to do with customers. And then we will get a few um, in the, uh, incoming configurations that are based on customers. You can also see if they want to be like created that, updated that, or specific filtering on like identifiers or a description or status. We could also see here uh, that we actually have more tabs that we could uh, select or deselect if we don't want to see those. On the top right, we can also make use of the uh, pagination to select or to get like a less uh, or a less of a big list to show on this page right now. So in this case, we could go to, for example, also creating a new incoming configuration by clicking on this button. And let's open that one. And within here, we can see the page of the incoming configuration. Here we can fill in the information, for example, the name, the identifier will fill in automatically. And in the, uh, we also have the possibility of the description. Within here, we can also uh, put the subscriber and the subscriber, I would really highly recommend you to watch the getting started session, which dives more into the kind of things that you can do with the incoming configuration subscriber. But in short, this is the part where you would talk to a specific system, for example, on HTTP REST API or a database directly, a file system is a possibility or GraphQL, SOAP. And we also have, of course, our connector packages, for example, the Shopify connector package. And that is how you would talk to the system. Dep uh, depending on which of these configurations you use or subscribers you use, you get a whole bunch of more options to fill in, which are better explained within those different videos. For, the, for example, the getting started video. Afterwards, we define the entity schema. And within the entity schema, it's mainly defining what are these identifiers for that specific data that you're looking at. Afterwards, we also have the possibilities of putting the entity transforms which are of course used to map, change, or enrich your data. We could also say that if we uh, created one, we select one that is already created. We have a few things that we can also see, for example, the logging in which we can see like, okay, what happened to, uh, to the system the moment that this incoming configuration was run. We can see, for example, the uh, request uh, or the scheduled jobs that are in there. So for example, this demo a scheduled job that is connected to this one. We can also see the alerting. If we would like to create an alert, if something actually doesn't happen or does happen, then we can also put uh, emails towards those people as well, if something does or doesn't come in. We also, of course, have the possibility here of running the income configuration, which will pull the information towards Alumio, unless the um, setting within the route is also enabled for enable real-time processing, then it will also automatically send all of that information out. From here, we also have the possibility once more to export it, to duplicate it, or to delete this incoming configuration. And that is everything for this incoming configuration of the possibilities that you can do on these pages.